Hi everybody, this is Pichio from Retired Gamers. In this video, I'm going to focus on fighting the more challenging wildlife in the game, which are bears and ragers. Ragers are infected bears. In this first instance, I stumbled upon a bear and immediately took aim. Not a good aim, but I took aim and decided to run instead. I thought it would be a good idea to take refuge in an abandoned house. I thought it would be a win-win situation because I could simultaneously fight the bear and retreat to a place where he couldn't reach me. And it just seemed like it was going to work out. But one of the things I've been encountering while fighting bears is that there always seems to be some kind of interference. You can see here the wolves approached literally from out of the blue like as if they appeared through some form of magic, uh, like an apparition they appeared and they just got in the way and really made it difficult for me to kill, make a kill. In this next instance I stumbled upon another bear and she was coming at me pretty fast. I was for sure I was going to be bear lunch. And then here's some another interference, which was uh, somebody riding by on their bike shooting at me. So she got me pretty good here, and I I thought I died, but still still alive, managed to escape, um, and just did my best to. get her down and luckily I was able to and this was a good kill a close call but a kill nonetheless this next bear fight is actually a fight with a rager which is the infected bear and these bears are unpredictable and they are resilient. They don't go down easily or without a fight. And a long fight, I might add. One of my go-to techniques is to stand on any surface just to put some distance between us. It usually works. Sometimes the bear can actually just reach over and still claw you. So that's one thing you should kind of be cautious of. Um, I also love to use any propane or explosives in the zone to my advantage. It really helps bring the health of the bear down faster. Um, and I tend to use a lot of pipe bombs and Molotov cocktails. And sometimes I use them too fast like this, uh, but this is, I'm clearly in a panic, and that tends to be what happens when I'm in a panic. I tend to waste supplies. is that the bear will disappear and you don't really know which direction it went until it's right on top of you the next second 
So when situations like this occur, I tend to use a lot of rolls and that keeps me alive. It may look ridiculous, but it actually works. My problem is after the rolls, it's hard for me to take aim because I'm still thinking about wanting to roll and that becomes my sole focus. So I'm going to say I'm not the best person when it comes to aiming, but I get there. I get there. It just takes some time. And here, this is definitely an unexpected chomp. I didn't think the bear would be that fast. I thought I was running pretty fast, but I guess not. So that is one thing that makes me nervous is that they're faster than you think they are. And this is just an instance where the bear reached over and was still able to claw me. So you can see there's really no way I can miss that, that shot. It was what really helped me get the bear down to almost no health. But you always have to stay on top of where the bear is because at any point you can see they, they don't really slow down and they're going to continue coming after you at full force they don't really show any signs of weakness or loss of health. It's just all or nothing with the bear or the rager. This next clip I had a bear come up on me from out of the blue and I really wasn't expecting it so I don't feel like I dealt with it in the best way. I did try to take a few shots at him and did the best I could. I did some throwables. Uh, the problem is with throwables it's very difficult to take aim at a moving target and so you'll throw your pipe bomb or a Molotov and the bear is so fast and unpredictable that it'll just completely bypass it. You can see that the bullets don't really even seem to affect the bear, but it just takes a lot to bring one of these down. One of the things that I struggled with during this bear battle were the addition of the birds. I'm not exactly sure if those are ravens or crows, but they are extremely strong and one hit can take off a pretty good chunk of health. If you're wondering why I'm not fighting the birds at this point, it's because I'm just really more concerned with where the bear is at. Running out of that zone kind of frees you up from being attacked by the birds, which is what I should have done to begin with, but uh, I didn't really think about that at the time. Looking back, yes, that's what I should have done.
In this next clip, I stumbled upon a bear or a rager coming out of a cave and knew what I needed to do. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just trying to shoot the barrel from that distance without using focus. I'm not necessarily trying to get the bear, but just seeing if I could do it. One thing I like to do is use focus during these throws, or at least try to, if it's available. It really helps to take better aim, but it's not always something I do right away, or sometimes I just forget to do it because I'm in such panic. With this bear, I really did have to pull out all the stops, and that includes catching myself on fire. But I think that part was necessary, to be honest. The bears are pretty, pretty good about hiding and getting out of dodge and out of sight so it is kind of hard to actually target him but uh, I actually did get him on that one it just didn't really look like it see his feet fly in the air and then I have this interference again which is not good but luckily there was only one raven or crow this time to mention that I really love the Days Gone um, menu or interface. Initially I wasn't sure about it and I thought it was too difficult and unnecessary but upon playing the game I realized that it's actually probably the best and quickest menu slash interface and it's so easy to access and use during game and mid battle. I love it. What you're witnessing now is the best finale I could have hoped for with this bear. Thanks for watching and if you want to help our channel grow, hit like and subscribe so we can be encouraged to make more videos in the future.